The card game mechanics will always get me, folks. I wasn't sure Neon White was for me, but when it popped up on Xbox Game Pass for PC, I had to give it a try. Now, I'm as far away from a speedrunner as you can be while still enjoying a good wall hack, but after playing this game, I can proudly say, I get it now. I understand why people go for the challenge and the fun of it. Because if there's one thing Neon White is made for, it's optimizing your runtimes. This game, with its 97 unique levels, wears a whole lot of hats. For one, it is a love letter to anime and its myriad tropes. I delighted in the high octane drama of its characters. White, sublimely voiced by Steve Bloom, wakes up in heaven alongside a group of people he used to know from his glory days of crime and assassination back in life. The problem is twofold. None of them have gotten here out of the goodness of their hearts, and are instead hardcore sinners summoned to heaven to slay demons over a period of ten days. And the second problem, White, has none of his memories, so remembering his friends is going to be a bit of a struggle. Lots can be done to help the struggle along, however. If you go out of your way to collect gifts and then offer them to any of the side characters, White will engage both in dialogue and in a variety of side quests, optional missions, the completion of which results in unlocking memories from his lifetime. I didn't do every single one of these because I'm not a completionist and I began to lose interest in getting every single collectible close to game's end. But what I did engage with was good fun. Challenging too, especially Violet's murderous levels which very nearly broke me once or twice. Neon White excels not only in its gameplay but also in its style, its presentation. This is evident in character design. Each member of the cast is highly stylized and corresponds perfectly to their name. The art is nothing short of delectable, with color and symbology doing wonders to make both story and gameplay highly memorable from a visual perspective. There's at least a little bit of visual debt to Persona at times, and also Danganronpa. Developer Angel Matrix has done wonderful, inspired work. It's difficult to look away from the vibrant and colorful levels. They have a hypnotic quality and a rhythm that feeds into the gameplay loop. I have a distinct memory of trying to shave off a few tenths of a second in order to get the highest possible medal of more than one or two levels, and getting this feeling as if I were engaging in some complex dance that I could not let go of because of how in tune I was, not just with the gameplay loop, but with the level at large. Familiarity in this, on this occasion does not breed contempt. On to the gameplay then, and let me tell you, I am not equipped to talk about the gameplay. First, Neon White has the spirit of the arcade about it. I think of each level as a frenetic, joyful call to action. This game rewards observation. To make a mistake is not to grow frustrated, but merely to take a mental note that, yes, this trick doesn't work, or that jump requires a bit more bravery, or this situation needs you to use a card discard rather than a card ammo. A mistake is not a signal to grow frustrated, however. Not unless you suck a whole lot, which I do at some of those longer late game levels, but even then I hardly let it discourage me. The cards, by and by, are great fun. Each one is a gun. A handgun, an Uzi, a shotgun, a goddamned rocket launcher. Each one works not just as you'd expect but also has a secondary ability activated whenever you discard the card. The handgun is a double jump. The rocket launcher offers a zipline. 
the shotgun makes you streak through the sky like a fireball, as the card itself is called. Mixing and matching these provides a fantastic sense of speed. That is something that the game guarantees as long as you engage with its systems in place. Neon White makes the act of repetition fun. What the developers have done with the gameplay loop is, they have managed to create something that really invites you to engage with the level time and time again. The smoothness of the experience, the ease with which you can restart a level at any given time with the press of a single button, it makes any mistakes feel inconsequential. Neon White is not a game that demands mastery. Instead, this is a game that gently invites you towards gaining proficiency. There's incredible depth here, and the way to approach it is to look at every level as you would at a puzzle. The design of it, the weapon cards, all of it together makes up the key through which you can find the best possible resolution. And it doesn't have to be the conventional one the game provides once you've unlocked a gold medal. The process of gaining mastery is addictive. And as I said early on, is the first genuine time I understand why speedrunners do what they do. It's no small accomplishment, that. Its spell let go of me a little earlier than it did others. I found myself sated for its gameplay a few hours too early. The last 20 levels or so, I will admit I've rushed through. Still, I'm not too bashful about it. Got plenty of golds and even a diamond medal or two from uh, those last 20 levels. There is something to be said about learning the mechanics of a game well enough to not be the absolute worst. Neon White is what every game should aspire to be, but what so many games lose track of in the nightmare landscape of our contemporary moment. Neon White is pure, non-stop fun. I invite you to do as I did and lose yourselves in it. And if you'd like more such invitations, more recommendations or warnings of specific video games, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button as the kids nowadays say, and uh, let me know in the comments down below, have you tried uh, Neon White? Have you got any experience with speedrunning? Tell me all about it, please. I'm eager to talk with someone, anyone. Is anyone even listening? I'm so alone. Oh well. And I will continue to be until you come back for my next video. I'm Philip Magnus, you are not, and I will see you again next time. Bye! Mr. White.